Oh my God. <laughs> I just filmed a four minute video with the camera facing the wrong way around. So I just videoed the scenery <laughs> with me chatting instead of myself and little Azaria in my lap right now. What the fuck? And I kept distracting her because my voice always distracts her when she's trying to feed. So I try not to talk too much. But I just spent four minutes chatting with her getting distracted only for the camera to be facing the wrong fucking way. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. We are starting this vlog on a Tuesday because yesterday we travelled home from being up north visiting Ben's side of the family and I actually forgot that it's Tuesday today to be honest until just now but then obviously that audio will just be with the house <laughs> facing the house instead of me. So we're going to start this again. Today is Tuesday because we travelled home yesterday. I didn't really film anything. But we just got back home and then did loads of housework like unpacked the suitcase did some washing then washed the nappies and made our bed because i had stripped the bed before we left and yeah i just bathed sari and put her to bed she got an early night because she was exhausted from all of the socializing every time we go up north we literally tend to plan days out with all of the family so there's well over 10 of us all traveling around here there and everywhere so it's really stimulating to Zari and she always gets really tired by the end of it and then when we come home it's just so calm and quiet here because it's just me and Zari and then my mum's often here working so like she's just on her laptop doing meetings and stuff so like that's the only noise that really happens and then it's just me and Zari like playing together and then me talking to myself on camera, which definitely distracts her a little bit from feeding. But like, that's it. So yeah, <laughs> it takes a bit of an adjustment to come back home and just chill out and get back in our routines. But that's what we're trying to do. So we're just chilling in the garden. It's meant to be really hot today, although it's a little bit cloudy at the minute. But hopefully it heats up. So we're just gonna play out here. I'm probably gonna, um, do some editing or something on my laptop when Zari naps but she's not napping yet she's she's getting there though I think she's a bit tired but yeah oh uh, also what I did say in my previous fucking clip that's facing the wrong way is that I bought a new microphone because I got so sick of having my phone because I vlog on my phone but I constantly have to put it in the tripod and then there's a separate attachment for the microphone and the light and it just does my head in it all being in all of this whole contraption thing and then when I want to use my phone to like journal or look at my calendar or even social media schedule it's stuck inside a full bloody tripod and stuff and got so much attached to it and facing the wrong way that it's just effort and I also feel like the volume to my voice in all of my videos is not loud enough because the mic is so far away from me especially when I'm outside so are you okay baby is me distracting you I'm sorry okay okay oh she's a bit tired I think she needs to nap but my voice is probably highly distracting. So let me just wrap this clip up. But yeah, okay, okay. Are you okay? Let's sit you up a second while I just finish this and then we can get you to sleep. She takes a bit of time to get to sleep, so I need to proper focus. But yeah, so I have a new microphone. It's up close and personal to me. It might look a bit weird for vlogs, but it just sounds so much better. So I feel like it's worth it. And all it means is I need one little thing plugged into my phone and that's it. So it's just so much better. But yeah, I'm going to go feed her now. So I'll see you in the next clip, guys. I hope you're okay. It feels so good to start creating music again because last week I only created, I only worked on it for one day, which was one hour out of the entire week. So let me just take my sliders off, get myself more comfortable. But I'm just loading it up. Obviously, don't mind our washing is also in this room. I'm just loading up the logic file again and yeah, we're gonna make some music while Ben watches Azaria for an hour. And then I'm going to rush out with my mum and go do a food shop afterwards, after she's finished work and stuff. 
then we're gonna go do that. But for now, I'm just gonna spend an hour recording vocals while Ben's downstairs. I need to do a lot of, um, what's it called? Like background vocals and harmonies for this song that I'm working on. I'm really, really excited to release it. So we're just gonna get working on that. Uh, like I only get an hour, so I'm just gonna try and do it as fast as possible. <laughs> cram all those vocals in and then on Thursday I will do a music production day where I can spend the time actually mixing and mastering it and making sure that the beat is how I want it so yeah let's do this good morning oh, do you see these bags under these eyes I am absolutely exhausted two days in a row she has got up about 3 a.m before Ben even gets up and then it's impossible to get her back to sleep so yeah <laughs> oh here comes nanny hi Good morning. i'm just vlogging hiya <laughs> morning gorgeous i'm gonna go in the other room and let you guys have your morning chat Good morning. <laughs> hiya beautiful every morning my mum comes to say good morning to her <laughs> it's so cute but yeah so she had me up at 3 a.m two days in a row and I don't even know what time she fell back to sleep this morning it must have been around six o'clock or something like I tried everything to get her back to sleep nothing was working and in the end I just had to let her just lay there and like chat to herself and you know get a bit more tired because she just was not going to sleep even with rocking her and stuff it just wasn't happening so yeah it's now like nine o'clock because of course she stayed awake for so many hours it means that she then wakes up a lot later once she finally falls back to sleep so normally she would wake up between six and seven but today it's nine o'clock and we've both just woken up together because she's been awake for like three hours in between so yeah it just is what it is i was gonna meal prep today but I also have therapy later. I've not had therapy in so long. Literally, it was like last year when I had it while I was pregnant. And I haven't had it since. I mean, you would kind of think that I would need it more <laughs> since having her. Because obviously, it's such a huge life change. But oh, I feel like things have just been changing constantly. I've just not prioritised having therapy, to be honest. So I'm going to have that today. And... Also, it's now nine o'clock and therapy's at half three and I was going to meal prep, but meal prepping literally will take all day. And I also want my hour of making music later. So I'm tempted to leave meal prepping till tomorrow and go sit in the garden today because it's also really hot again today. And I don't think it's going to be as hot the rest of the week. So I don't really want to miss out on like the terrible sunshine that it's been this year. It's been absolutely crap. So having one day of sunshine, I kind of want to enjoy it. So I think I'm going to just social media schedule today. And then tomorrow I will meal prep. And then the day after that will be a music production day. I'm just having to switch all of my days around. Still the same things, but just in a different order so that I can enjoy the sunshine, have therapy and still get my meal prep all done in one day. Because normally when Ben gets home, I have to carry on meal prepping when he's here. But therapy will interrupt that as we've got up a little bit later. I just, it feels like a lot, you know? And then I'll miss the sunshine too. So we might as well just push that to tomorrow. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Even though it's going to be in the 20s degrees. But it's meant to rain. So we're obviously not going to sit out in that. But yeah, so that is the plan. That is what I'm going to do. Um now we need to do our morning routine and go get ourselves outside in that sunshine. So yeah. What did I do last night? I didn't end up finishing the vlog last night. I, I made music. I didn't end up vlogging it for some weird reason. I needed to get my tripod and I didn't want to go back downstairs and disturb Azaria when I'd finally left her. So I need to yeah, maybe on Thursday I will get my tripod and actually show you what I'm doing. But yeah. So that's all I did last night. I went and did a food shop, came home, put Azaria to bed and then chilled for a little bit. And I had to keep getting up because she kept waking up. So I had to keep getting up and going and soothing her back to sleep and then chilling again. So yeah, what a fun evening. <laughs> and now to start it all over again. So let's go do our morning routine and then social media schedule. This bug feels alive now My path let me find you I can't quite define how But I'm right beside you The moment's so wild Being out so glad I replied to You're ready to move south So I'm right beside you I 
Think he love me cause he don't stop Said he want me and at all costs I measure up to what he thought of And now he's saving for the full drop I've been focused on me I've been creating my dreams I've been resolving some things I've been remembering me I've been going through some lessons And some memories see You are just what I need This spark fills my life now My path let me find you Forever staring around When she's meant to be eating Good morning It is is it Friday? Bloody hell, it's actually gone so fast. Let me just check that this microphone is working. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure because there was no way I was going to record a full bloody video and have it not work like the other day when it was facing the wrong direction. But yes, oh, I could also actually raise this up so that it's not so low down that makes more sense <laughs> but yeah anyway today is friday i didn't film yesterday because poor little zaza sitting in her cot right now um she has a cold so we went to the shops didn't we babe and we got some ginger for my elderberry syrup i wanted to make some elderberry syrup for her but i was gonna obviously eat myself not her because she's just breastfeeding she's not eating solids or anything yet so I'm going to take the elderberry syrup and then that's going to reach my breast milk and help her with her cold. So I needed to buy the ginger for it because I didn't have any. And yeah, that's what we did yesterday. And then I just meal prepped in the evening because she was so like ill and just, oh, I just whacked the microphone. <laughs> she was so, hi, peanut. Oh, my cat's come to see me. Yeah, she just wasn't feeling too well. So I ended up letting her nap on me for two hours, bless her. And um, we just kind of chilled out a bit. She wasn't feeling too great. And I didn't feel like doing too much. It was just a meal prep day for me yesterday anyway. But I just didn't get to do it until the evening because she obviously needed me and stuff. And then once my mum finished work and then Ben got home, I was able to just crack on and get the meal prep done because she was looked after. So that is all we did yesterday. I'm absolutely tired today. Like the night before, she did not sleep through the night whatsoever. She was waking up constantly and it was so hard to get her back to sleep as well. What's that, my baby? Oh, it is not my bloody child. It's my cat that wants my attention, I swear to God. But yeah, um, she didn't sleep through the night the night before, but last night was so much better. Even though she woke a few times, it was nowhere near as bad. But I have been taking her downstairs with me in the evening because I would try and get her to sleep up here. And then she would sleep about half an hour and then she would wake up and then it would be impossible to get her back to sleep. And I think it's just where she couldn't breathe properly and stuff. And I was suctioning the snot out obviously like using a suction thingy to get it all out so that she could breathe but she still was not going back to sleep and also that thing would make her cry as well which would just be worse I just felt like she just needed a mum cuddle so I would take her back downstairs two nights in a row now where I just let her sleep on me while I'm just chilling downstairs watching tv and then I bring her upstairs with me it was much easier to get her to sleep because I'm not forcing her to sleep, I'm letting her just kind of sit with me for a bit until she's fully ready to go to sleep and kept suction in her nose, bless her, poor little baby. But yeah, so last night she slept so much better, but I still had her downstairs with me at first, and then she didn't wake up too much last night, so. But I'm still bloody tired. <laughs> she's back to waking up very early, so it's like 7 a.m. right now, and she woke up, and yeah, it's all good. <laughs> I'm just really tired and tomorrow night we have a party like a house party at home loads of our family and some of my mum's friends are coming which is really cool so we're just celebrating my mum's freedom and bless her she's gone for a bit of a shit situation and it's all done and dusted now she can put that bullshit behind her but we're gonna celebrate it so yeah we're having loads of people around tomorrow night I am knackered already, so I feel like I need an early night tonight, but I also want to get my nails done, like I do them myself and I need to do them tonight. 
before the party but I don't know if I'm going to be able to because obviously everything I do depends on Azaria so we're just going to see today is a music day for me it's music production where I do it during the day while looking after her so I'm gonna <laughs> yeah I'm gonna bring all of her toys and everything upstairs because sometimes nowadays now she's getting a bit older she does chill in her high chair seat thing with some toys and that so I'm just gonna roll with it do some tummy time some time on the mat and everything and then also make music in between and just see what happens so we're gonna roll with that aren't we baby we're gonna roll with it yeah we're just gonna figure it out and see so that is what we're planning on doing today but first we're gonna do our morning routine I need to take the elderberry syrup I'm gonna take it multiple times throughout the day for her and she also wants her first feed. I need a juice because I am hungry and thirsty and I don't want to catch her cold either. So I'm definitely going to make sure that I drink lots and lots of fruit today and also take the elderberry syrup. So yeah, that is what we're going to do. I'm going to stop rambling. Let's get on with the day. Are you ready for some milk, baby? She's sitting there so patiently for me, bless her. Oh, Bubba, are you okay? she's got a bit of a cough and a bit of a cold so let's go help her with the elderberry syrup and stop the camera how are we gonna tell them yeah baby we are making some shamosic oh, oh, oh. we've got so many songs to work on mama oh are you okay bit of a cough going on huh so oh. I am loading up my logic file. Yeah, this is my first time making music in this room with Azaria here since I've moved the equipment out of the bedroom and put it in here. Switching up the environment, I think. <laughs> I was going to say, I think that's probably a good thing for her, but she's obviously not feeling very well. So I don't know how much of this I'm going to get done today. It's all right. But we're going to load it up anyway, aren't we, baby? Might as well just, you know, have a little dabble, a little play in between, you know, happy moments. And then the rest of the time, I'll just spend it with her and playing with her. So I'm going to give her a different toy because she's had those ones for a while. I've noticed that when she gets grumpy like this, unless she's like hungry or something, but if she's not and there's nothing wrong, then usually she's just bored of her toy and she wants something different. You want a bit of different stimulation, don't you? So we're going to do that. You want Mr. Rabbit? Ooh. Ooh. Should we move those? And you can play with Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am tired. We just woke up from a nap. Are you pooping when I've just changed your nappy? Yeah, I see you smiling, little miss. Oh, now I'm going to need to do another nappy change. But we literally just woke up from a nap about five, ten minutes ago. Oh, my God. She was very tired and rubbing her eyes. And I just thought to myself, you know what? I'm so tired. I'm going to just have a nap with her. So we went and laid back in bed. And I don't even know how long we slept for. Maybe an hour or something. Um, but, yeah, so I've just woken back up. <laughs> I never like napping because it always makes me groggy and I feel fucking groggy. I need some more of my juice. I'm going to need to go do another nappy change for her. And then we're just going to play in this room and maybe do a bit of music. Maybe not. I don't even know what's going to happen, to be honest. It depends how much, um, how, how she feels, <laughs> really, as to whether I'm able to get much done. But yeah. I feel super tired and just like, whoa, do you know what I mean? But yeah, I hope you're enjoying your day. <laughs> That's where I spend so many days just half asleep. Pretty bubba. Oh dear, my baby is so heavy! 